Hey, what's going on everyone? I appreciate y'all coming here and checking out this Sons of the Forest video. In this one, I'm going to be showing y'all how to get all of the key cards. These are crucial to know where they are and how to get them because you need them to complete the story in the game. And also, you'll need them to get to specific weapons too that you may be wanting. So yeah, hopefully you all find this enjoyable and it's able to help you all out. If you do find this enjoyable, consider taking a little bit of your time and leaving a like on it. The support is greatly appreciated. As always, that's totally up to you. Just leaving a reminder here in the beginning. So first off, you're going to need the shovel. I've already made a video over how to get the shovel. I made a complete guide over how to get this. If you are curious on how to get it, I'll have a link in the description to it. Consider taking the time to check it out and get the shovel and then come back to this video to learn how to get all the key cards if you don't have the shovel already. But if you do have the shovel, this is where you want to go on the map. As you can see on the GPS, I'm located right here. Go ahead and spin it around a little bit. Zoom in a little bit. Yeah, I'm right by the cave where you do get the shovel at. At this green indicator on the map. Once you're here, you'll come across a spot where you can dig at over here next to an area where it seems like they were surveying the land here as you can see you can dig right here all you gotta do is just dig right here and eventually you'll reveal this hatch that's here that's labeled maintenance and as some of you may have already guessed this is where you'll get the maintenance key card at it can take a little while to reveal the hatch so yeah just keep digging here until you're able to open it up All right, so yeah, let's go ahead and head on in. As you can see, it states maintenance A. Anyways, once in here, all you have to do is just head down this hallway and take a right in this room right here. You'll find the maintenance key card that you'll need located right here on this desk. There's also some other goodies down in here too that you can check out. So yeah, this is where you can find the first key card at, the maintenance one. This is the first one you'll need. You can also save and sleep back here on this bed, so keep that in mind. All right, so next you'll have to head here on the map so we were just right over there where Kelvin is kind of near and yeah we just went over here to this green indicator this is where you could find the VIP key card however you are going to need the maintenance key card to get this VIP key card so yeah keep that in mind I'll go ahead and zoom out here so you guys can see the map fully this is where I'm located at it's kind of near the beach crash site Alright, so yeah, anyways, once you get over here, you just want to head on inside this cave. And we're going to be making our way to a hatch that's down in this cave. It's not too far within here. See, it'll be located right here. It states food and dining. Once down here, you just want to head over here to this door. And this is where you use the maintenance key card at. Bam. So we're in. Now from here, just take the route that I take. The VIP key card is pretty deep within this place. You'll eventually have to swim in here. The place is flooded. We're just going to be moving from room to room down in here. Eventually you'll come to this part right here where straight ahead there will be a door where you have to use a key card but instead of heading that way you want to take a left right here through this way 
And this will take you to where you can get the VIP keycard. As you can see, it'll be located right here on the desk. There's also something strange happening on these cameras. Check this out. You can see people transforming into the mutants. Definitely eerie. Alright, so anyways, now we got the VIP key card. Now, we just want to backtrack out of here. Remember that door that I showed you guys that requires the key card that was straight ahead? Now we want to head that way. As you can see, we can use the VIP key card on it. And yeah. Now, when in here, you just want to head over here and go through this broken glass. You can also see these guys here jump down in this place, too. One of those guys that we just saw, you may recognize him. We saw him at the very beginning at the crash site. But yeah, heading this way will lead us out of here. Alright, so lastly here, I'll be showing you where to get the guest key card. You technically only need the VIP key card and maintenance key card to complete the story, but this is another key card that you can discover in the game, and I figured I would show you all where this is located at too. As you can see, it's located right here on the map. And when you get over here, you'll find this cave that you can enter right here at the green indicator. Once in the cave, just head this way and take a left right here. I'm gonna go ahead and speed this up a little bit just so y'all can get through this quickly. And yeah, over here at this double door, it's going to require the maintenance key card to open up. Once in here, I'm gonna be showing you all two unique weapons that you can get in here too, that you can easily pass up, as well as, of course, the guest key card. But, yeah, just said the route that I'm taking currently. There will be mutants in here if you aren't playing on Peaceful, but I'm just playing on Peaceful for the sake of the guide here. Just to make things easier to show you all where to go. But, yeah, you'll come up to this awesome bar lounge area with pools around and whatnot. And over here is where you can find the guest key card. Be sure to pick up this unique weapon here, the guitar. It's a melee weapon you can get your hands on. And over here, you can find the guest key card on this round table, right here. So yeah, that's all the key cards. But before wrapping up this video, I want to show you all where you can get the chainsaw within here too. Since we're in here, I might as well show you all real quick. If you just backtrack a little and head this way, you'll have to use the VIP key card right here to open up these double doors. And yeah, just head down this hallway. And over here, if you take a left, you can find a movie theater. And within this movie theater, you can find the chainsaw jammed into this guy here. Yeah. Freaking awesome. This is great to chop down trees, and it's decent against enemies. But anyways, a shortcut to get out of here, if you just head this way instead of going back the way you came from, if you head through this dark corridor here, this will lead you to a cave that leads to an exit out of here. It's just a way to get out of this place quicker from the chainsaw. But yeah, there you guys have it, everyone. Hopefully you all found this video enjoyable and it was able to help you out. Finding the key cards are extremely important because, because you need those to get through the story and to find specific weapons like the ones I just showed you here at the end. Well, specifically, you just need the maintenance key card and the VIP key card to complete the story. But either way, this was a guide for all of them, so hopefully it was able to help you out. But yeah, I'm out of here, everyone. As always, thanks for taking the time, watching, and listening. Until next time, peace.